got onion pepper to the Smithfield market the last one I went to I think I shared that with you so I'm trying to reset for the new year and I'm going to Smithfield to stock up I'm going to bulk buy full stock so that's where I'm heading now let's go for the degree outside and you guys don't want to know how I layered up by the way is six ish I like going to this market early Normally they start really early, by 12, um, the market gets closed by 12, yeah, 12 noon. We are here. I'm off to get tomato and pepper. The last time I came here, proud to this particular time, the first time I came here was a good buy. The second time it was a good buy, but the third time I got cheated. I got cheated. So what I'm going to advise is anytime you're coming here, try and go around the shops, negotiate back in. Cause I think that period I wanted to get like a carton of tomato, two cartons of tomato, and they were selling it for 20 something pounds. After buying the next shop I went to buy pepper, I discovered that it was for 12 pounds. The tomato there, the same tomato was for 12 pounds, so you can imagine. So always do like a mini market survey go around the stores price before buying Chili pepper, this one. Good price, 25 pounds. Then your tomato is 9 pounds. Tomato is 9 pounds. Okay. And this one is 7 pounds. This one is 7 pounds? Yeah. Babe, what do you think? Mm. Alright, thank you. It's too layered, like this. It's too, let's just add them how much. So. Let me just ask them how much they sell. Good morning. Good morning. Please, how much is your tomato? This one. Nine, nine, nine pounds. Everything in the black box is nine pounds. Okay, so and your chili pepper? Red chili, that, you mean hot pepper? Yes, hot no, pepper. He's a hot pepper man on the road there. I have no hot pepper. Alright, thank you. Alright, Bill. That first thing. Um, that one is this year and it's more. I have to come back to the first store. The second and the third store said their pepper is for £30, so I had to quickly come back to this store. So I got onion, pepper, tomato. I have plantain somewhere, but I'm going to be sharing with someone because it's actually too big for me. Let me transfer it over to this bag now. So guys, next stop is the butcher. It's still around this area. That's where I'm heading to now. I need to get protein. I'm done with buying veggies, tomato, pepper and the rest. I'm just going over to get protein. So yeah, let's go. This guy is close by 12 or 11 thereabouts. Hope I'm going the right way. Yeah. So we are here. Cooper's meat DLC. We 
y'all here. That's not the entrance. This is the entrance. So let's go. Good morning. Um, I want um, goat meat. Yes. Yeah. Twelve pounds. No, six pounds. Six pounds per kilo. Uh, yeah, two kilos. Then your beef, how much is it per kilo? Seven pounds. Okay. Let's see the goat meat two pounds first. Okay. These are chicken drumstick gizzard. I'm taking gizzard. I like taking gizzard. Oh, this is three pound three. Three pound thirty pence. It used to be five pounds previously. So this is a good deal. What else do we have here? Sea bones. Abobi. Abobi is like shaki roundabout kinda. Then this is towel. This beef stripe is towel. I'm going to be taking one of this as well. Then there's Bomo here. I've not bought their Bomo before. Yeah, so that's it. So this is everything I got. Two big bags. I'm actually waiting for my Uber now. Um, it's a couple of minutes away. So yeah, bag is filled up. <laughs> So like I said, they close really, they open around 4 a.m., close by 12, Saturday 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. So, yeah, I told you guys they close really early, but they, the good thing is that they start by 4. It's very heavy. I'm back home now but I still need to step out I need to go to Asda to get other groceries I am tired knackered but I still have to move out I'm just taking a little breath like let me breathe a little then I'll step out to get other groceries I'm tired I don't like stress oh jeez usual but i decided to just you know tell you guys what i got from the market these are all the items i got this is the nigerian food stuff so african food stuff i got 
this is part of it and these are other related but we'll be going through that much later so let me just share with you what i bought and how much i bought them so for we have a bag of onion here this onion was for nine pounds that was why i got the onion the onion was for nine pounds then i got tomato the tomato was for it was for nine pounds as well that's why i got this tomato so it comes in a crate like a basket you guys must have seen the clip when i pulled that up when i was sharing you guys what i was getting then this one is atarudo very hot this was for 18 pounds so the first time i went to was for 18 pounds i moved to the other store when i moved to the other store because like i said with the last experience i had i like exploring like doing like a mini market survey before i buy whatever i'm buying so when i went to the first store he was like oh it's 18 pounds that other people sell 25 i'm like hmm, you're not getting me today when i moved to the other store they were really high some people were selling 25 some people were selling 30. i eventually went back to the first store i went to and the guy was like i came back with some other person a nigerian lady um so i was like i have a place they sell cheaper so she tagged along with me when i got there she, he was not like 20 pounds i said yeah who 20 pounds okay and i said oh you 18 because they are pakistanese obviously you 18 she 20 i said no she's my sister so you gave me 18 you're going to give her 18 so this pepper is for 18 pounds then for the protein for the protein let me tell you guys how much i got the protein fortunately for me i still have the receipts with all the adventures i went through today fortunately i had the receipt so this is goat meat popularly known as mute the goat meat was for how much was the goat meat for yeah mute that was that's what's called this one is for 12 pounds i bought two um they sell package i bought two kg two kg was for 12 pounds six pence but i got this and i got an additional one for three pound 18 pence so both comes to a total of over 15 pounds next on my list is cow meat also known as beef the cow meat was for 14 pounds 78 shin beef that was called next up is the gizzard so anytime i go to the market anytime i go to the shape um the market i go to you guys know if you have seen my previous vlog when i want to buy things in bulk i go to the sh um to the smith field market that's what's called smith field market in manchester if you're looking for a place to get things in bulk smith field market manchester so anytime i go there i buy gizzard very very important it's a lot cheaper than going to african store so yeah this gizzard is for three pounds thirty pence i got two next stop is the cow leg the cow leg was for yeah four pounds that was what the cow leg was for then up next is this did it yeah shame beef is that what's called it's called shaki but i don't know is it here i'm trying to see if i can see so we have gizzard two gizzard frozen chicken thighs i think that's what they called it frozen i don't have frozen chicken thighs i think they summed it as this uh i think no this was meant to be for five pounds but the guy added it as frozen chicken thighs for seven pounds so this is five pounds i didn't go through it there god i was tired i'm just realizing now that this is this is actually what they tilted at seven pounds it should be five pounds like it's good to have your receipt i've just come to that realization then next up is plantain i got plantain so like i said i met up with a nigerian lady there and she we decided to go for one carton of plantain the carton cost 25 pounds so we split it into two this is over this is over 50 or 60 something pieces of plantain don't don't look at the way it looks it's it's really hard it doesn't look nice it looks really ripe but it's not it's strong very strong so this plantain was very very strong so this plantain is for 12 pounds ish 
because the total 12 pounds 50 i guess so the total was 25 pounds we split it because i cannot carry this is a lot already imagine me buying a whole carton of plantain that's not gonna be possible so we split this into two she paid 25 um 12 pounds 50 i paid 12 pounds 50 50 so that is that for this um this is for a family of two we are a family of two i won't tell you that this is our monthly food budget this is going to go a long way it's not just one month it's over a month it's over a month my protein my meat and fish sometimes it lasts it lasts over two months because it's actually a lot i like buying things in bulk i, I just like that it, it gives me zero stress i know that what i'm buying i like buying things in bulk so this food stuff now would including the onions as well it should last me over two months that's for this then for the pepper the pepper should be over two months because it's hot if i want to cook i like pepper a lot but if i want to cook definitely i'm going to use like a handful not much so this one is going to last me longer but i'm guessing that the first thing i'm going to finish on here is most likely the tomato after which any other thing would follow suit but yeah this is basically the things i got from the wholesale market at sheffield um sorry at smithfield i would if you've not seen my previous video go and see it i think i gave the location also if i didn't give the location i'm going to leave that on the screen you know if you're in manchester you want to buy things wholesale things and if you want to share with someone personally i did not share the only thing i shared was the planting but if you want to share with someone you can go there there are a lot of people there in fact that's like a lot of nigerians know that market so you can see your fellow african brother or sister that wants to share you can always share it a lot better you guys can go there so yeah that's that um next up is the items or the items i got from Alza. let me just get the receipts and show you guys what i got again so um to the other product so um for the wholesale market i spent a total of so this is 47 pounds 72 pence for the protein um this is the total of what i got at the shop i got the protein for then for the tomato and pepper i think that was around 34 or 36 with the plantain 30 something sure then at asda i spent a total of 53 pounds so i'm just going to be sharing with you guys what i got um first things first water so we don't drink tap water here so we get water from asda and the water was for it's really tiny i'm going to try my best to read out how much the water was for uh, i think this was for two pounds something then the smaller one which is this was for two pound ish that's for the water then up next is salad kit so i usually get this from asda this is what it looks like give me a second i'm just getting that up so this is the salad kit this is what it looks like so what i use is for i use it for my shower i use it for wraps this is what i use for my wraps i get it from asda that was for one pound 15. next up is meat meat in this context is chicken this chicken was for one second i'm just going through that this chicken was for four pounds seven pence that's what we got for this chicken next up is toothpaste i got this toothpaste the regular or a bit toothpaste for two pounds no one pound 25 pence i don't know if i'm the only one if it's only my house that we have this issue i don't know if you guys are familiar with this but every time most times my spoon keeps getting missing i don't know what happened i don't know who comes to this house but recently i've not found a couple of my spoons so i decided to get my spoons the spoon cost um i decided to get a couple of spoons this is a set of four and it costs one pound next up is apple I got apples. Apples are for £1.49. I got um, bananas. Bananas are for £1.09. 
I got bell peppers. Bell peppers are for one pound ninety pence. Up next are grapes. So I bought this grape. Jeez. Uh, yeah, sorry. I got this grape, and the grape was for one pound each. I got this one. They are seedless grapes, by the way. This one, and um, I got that grape, that one, and also another one. During this video, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I got the red and the green. They are seedless grapes, and they are for one pound each. I got garlic. Garlic are for ninety-five pence. This gold garlic. They are for 95 pence. That's why I got them. I got two. No, these are ginger, by the way. I got the ginger for one pound eighty-five. Sorry about that. One pound eighty-five. I got garlic. So this is pretty much what the garlic looks like. And the garlic is for um 95 pence. I bought two. That's what it's looking like. Up next is this juice. I like if you know me, I like eating healthy. I like it eating healthy. So I got this juice. Uh, they are not made from concentrate, meaning that they are freshly squeezed juice, no preservative, no adhesive, no whatever chemicals they put in grapes now, in drinks now, nothing of that sort. And this cost, I got this. This is a fruity and refreshing strawberry and kiwi juice drink. And I also got another. It's somewhere around here. It's somewhere around. Hopefully, I would get that. Yeah, so I got these two. And they cost, uh, the juice cost £1.70 each. That's what it, that's the cost of this. I've told you guys how much the water costs. Next up is fruits. So, in this, this is what fruits, the fruits on here. This is the fruit. So, what I use this is, it's like frozen fruits. Um, is a mixture of blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. It's for my smoothie. I take smoothie every morning. So this is what I blend with. I blend it with my yogurt and fresh milk. So that's that. And this this cost about two pound twenty five. And I got baking powder. I got baking powder and baking soda. I bake. So this is my baking powder and my baking soda and this um, baking soda also functions as something I use when I want to wash my sink. So if you mix baking soda and vinegar, it's a holy grail for cleaning. So that's what I use this baking soda for. Um, next up is the brush bread. How, how, how would I forget that? So this is the bread I take. I can't swear by this bread. It's so, it tastes really like a Niger bread, if not better. So this is a brush bread. And this is by Aza Bakery. And this costs um, two pounds each. I got two and that's two pounds each. Next up are chewables to munch on. I got Oreos um, and hobnobs. The hobnobs is somewhere. I got like biscuits, hobnobs as well. It's somewhere. So the biscuits, um, the they are for eighty nine pence. Oreo is for yeah, Oreos are for eighty nine pence. Then hobnobs is for one pound fifty. Somewhere around. I can't find that now. I'm sorry. Next up is the egg. Yeah, I got eggs. I got eggs. Um. So this is the egg I got. So this is the crate of 15 and this cost £2.60. That's what the eggs cost. Um, then the milk, I got milk as well. This small milk costs £1.20. Got tomato puree. The tomato puree costs... How much does this cost? Yeah. This cost 65 pence. Um, what else? I got spice. <laughs> the spice here is the grounded garlic. <laughs> the grounded garlic costs 75 pence. Then I got pasta, as a pasta. As a pasta is for 75 pence each. Yeah, these are what the other pasta looks like. 25, 35 
pens each that's pretty much what i got and yeah i got this as well i got hot dogs the list is actually really long i don't know i can't remember how much i bought this hot dog i think it was for four pounds or three pounds thereabouts um so this is what it looks like i can't remember how much i got it but i got that as well um so that's that is there anything i'm missing oh i got bananas bananas are for one pound each thereabouts that's what this banana costs um let me see yeah bananas are for one pound nine pence that's what the banana cost yeah so that's pretty much the items i got from asda i got other regular items here and there i breezed into b and m b and m they have the best bag in i've told you guys here so i went to their home and kitchen it's like a big store where they sell home and kitchen appliances it's really a huge store, one of their huge athletes. And I got that's where I got this candle from. I seriously guys, I walked around today. That's where I got this candle for from and it smells really nice. I went there to get some storage unit for my um cabinet. That's where I got the storage units from. I got the storage units. I don't know if I should show you guys. One second. So yeah, this is what the storage units look like. I got that from B&M, so um, coincidentally, I saw this and it smelled heavenly. So this is a scented candle, a cherry scented candle, and guys, smells heavenly, heavenly. I'm not even over exaggerating, heavenly, and it was for one pound fifty pence. I just copped it, yeah. So that's that, and I think I got some other items here and there. I went to a lot of places today, like I just used one stone to kill two birds. Since I'm free let me just get everything i got my toiletries as well and some other things so basically that's how much how much i spent for wholesale feeding of a family of two so this is for this is a total of 53 pounds a bit 58 pounds yeah that's what the other item that's that's yeah that's how much it costs then for um so this is what the receipt looks like I don't know if you guys can see it's really lengthy <laughs> really really lengthy this is pretty much what it looks like then um like i said the the meat the protein i got that for 47 ish um the veggies tomato pepper plantain that was for 30 something so that should come to a total of over 800 and something pounds i can't really sum that up 53 plus 53 plus 47 that is then one that's 100 pounds firstly 100 pounds plus 53 pounds that's 1153 pounds sorry i'm i'm a math girl is in the head <laughs> so yeah that's the total of what we spent today for feeding a family of two and this is going to go a long way like i said i won't come here and say this is going to last for a one for a month hell no it's going to last a lot longer a lot longer I don't know about the other produce, but this other ones, you know, it's going to last a lot longer. So yeah, that's that's it. I came here to share and give you guys an estimated budget of what it's like, you know, buying items and feeding a family of two in the UK, precisely Manchester. Hope you enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, apologies, I didn't do like a proper intro. My name is Kiki. Kiki, yes, my name is Kiki, and I'm based here in Manchester. I make vlogs, sit down videos here and there, share my experience here, because I came in here recently, it's not been a year, so I share my experience here and there about my stay here in Manchester, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and see you in my next one. Thank you.